Welcome folks, it's Nick here. It's been a while. It's now mid-April 2023. We're out of winter now, but there seems to have been quite a lot of damage to the roads over the period. And I'll show you some examples of that here in the UK but for now I'm off on a mini trip I've got a 12 day route downloaded from my route app and somebody there has created the the route for southern England and it starts in Dover which is in the east right the way across to the west to Land's End and then back again but sort of scenic routes along the way so I'm hoping that's going to work out nicely I have to join the route at day 11 and make my way east and then back a little bit west because I've got a family commitment after a few days and then I'll pick it up again I'll do day 11, 12, 1 and 2 and then I'll pick it up at day three again. But, some of you may have noticed that I'm on a different bike today. I'm still going to be doing my Norway trip and that will be on my trusty Honda CB500X. But for the next week and a half, I'm on my Triumph Street Triple 765. still camping etc where I can I was checking on campsites last night and uh, discovered a lot of them are still closed so we'll see how that works out but given that it's just after Easter I would have expected them to be open anyway I've made a couple of adjustments to the bike for the trip. I've wired into the ignition system a USB charger and the Garmin Zumo XT. And I've also had to put a, I think it's called a street rack on the back. So I've got stuff to uh, strap up to. Thank you. Okay, so we're topped up with fuel. Just check the stability of everything. Tighten the straps down a little bit. We're on our way. So to pick up the route, I need to travel a little bit west to go east. So I'm heading to a place called Headington, then I move south and then I get to Marlborough which picks up the route at Marlborough um, and I head across east to a place called Cranbrook I think it's Kent uh, where I intend to camp for the night I'll tell you a little bit more as we go along Helps, of course, if you put the keys in the ignition. Ooh, let's just reset the trip. There we go. Mm -hmm. So, as I mentioned, I'm on the <laughs> the street triple, and. It's a little bit more eager than the CB500X, so I do have to watch out for the speed. I'm only in 
road mode. This one obviously has modes, and uh, so it's just trying to keep it not wanting to jump. Uh, coming up to a national. So, if you've seen my channel before, you may have noticed that, one, I'm on a different bike, and two, I've got a new camera. The little camp park was X30, I think it was, was fine when it worked, but you couldn't really tell whether it was recording or not without turning the camera around and having a really good inspection of the very faint screen. So it wasn't ideal. So I've gone for the Insta360 X3. Let's see. Let's see how that works out. Here we are. This is the town of Marlborough. Just stopped for lunch little tea shop uh, which is quite nice and now heading to join the main route from Marlborough to Cranbrook which I think is about 144 miles oh dear so he's only jumped the curb gonna be there all day It's 144 miles to Cranbrook, which is where the first day ends, and I hope to find a campsite there. Not the usual kerfuffle. I'm in the UK, it's after Easter. You would think there'd be plenty of campsites open, but according to the websites, they many of them aren't. Very odd, but anyway. This is the village of Oxenwood. Extra parking over there. So it must get busy at times. The village of Upton. All looking a bit bare with the trees at the moment, but a few weeks I guess it will look very different. These thatch places. The crown, a bit quiet. More thatch places. to the next little village, Ibthorpe. River running through. 
really, very really nice. So many thatched properties in this little place of Ip Thorpe. So many pretty little villages and towns. Some really nice roads. So far I can recommend day 11 of this uh, Southern England My Roots app route. Taking us through some very small villages, towns, lots of thatched buildings. A bit mucky down here. Yes, the next stop is 10 miles. Louise, the motorcycle path. Very busy. Busy here today. Lumi's Moto Cafe. Heard about it, never been there. Stop and get a coffee at this place, I think. I stopped at Lumi's, or the petrol station next to Lumi's, and had some refreshment, and then thought I'd book a campsite near Cranbrook, and I've sent off a booking reservation, had confirmation that the booking's been received, but unless the booking is confirmed, it's not confirmed. Well, this is going just marvellously. Another closed road, and that's exactly where my GPS wants to take me. So I'll try my phone and see uh, see what that can do. The open all year round campsite that I booked. So we're about half a mile away from a campsite. I used Google Maps in the end and made quite a few phone calls and found somebody in the end who has is open and has capacity. It's um, twenty-five pounds for the night, though. Not expensive. I guess it depends on what facilities they have. I'm hoping it's more than just a field, but they have a toilet block too. So anyway, this one I know this one. Doesn't 
Not much like it. Could be. <laughs> Don't know if it is or it isn't. I'm guessing not. And Swallows Oast it is. Is there's a bit of hard stand in there as well, so yeah. you can leave the bike there. Perfect. You've got the whole place to yourself. Right. Yeah. That'd be lonely then, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd yeah. Be lonely, but beautiful. There's a toilet, running water, there's a hot shower. Alright, perfect. Right, cheers! Well, that was an interesting day. I set off later than I'd planned to, which is nothing unusual for me. Had a bit of a detour moment, closed roads, quite a few of those at the moment. But overall, the route itself was really nice. Did 210 miles, or two, no, 220 miles today. Um, staying in Ticehurst, which is nine miles from Cranbrook. That's the closest campsite I could get, which I found on Google Maps. The campsite's fairly basic. It's got a, uh, it's a field. I'm the only person in it. And it's rather soggy. So I'm hoping that I can get the bike out tomorrow because it was a bit spinny on the rear wheel, no matter how slowly I took it. But anyway, that's for tomorrow. And tomorrow, the plan is to head, or well, continue on the route, and we go to Dover. All that leaves me to do now is say bye for now.